Today's video is brought to you by Zool and Vigo, official couch warmers of Bertha Stormtrooper Reviews. Hello and welcome, I'm Bertha Stormtrooper and today we're going to be taking a look at the Ghostbusters Fright Feature Ghost Action Figures Muncher. And Muncher here is the new ghost that is going to be introduced in the new Ghostbusters Afterlife movie. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what this ghost is going to be all, all about. Um, I kind of think this is going to be the new version of Slimer, if you will. Uh, in my head canon, I'm kind of looking at him as a, a relative, like a cousin of Slimer or something like that. So uh, I really hope that him and Slimer become buddies uh, is what kind of what I'm looking forward to. Of course, we don't know much about the movie yet. That's just me and wishful thinking. But Smuncher right here is brand new, starting to hit stores and online retailers right now as of the time of this recording. I'll put a link down in the description where you can get your own Muncher. He retails for approximately $10 or $11. And we can see Muncher right here in the new Afterlife packaging. We've got that caution tape across the top there with the Ghostbusters logo. We can see some pictures of Muncher right in there so we can see what the action fright feature is going to be. We got Muncher right there in the pack in the window packaging and we can see some stuff coming out of his mouth we can also see some stuff right there in his belly we got some really cool artwork of muncher right there looks like he's spitting out some junk and right in that junk we can see some car parts and the license plate to the ecto-1 right in there i hope that doesn't mean that they're going to destroy the ecto because I, I would be really upset if they do that such an iconic car we've got the act speaking of the ecto we've got the fin going right across the front here Ghostbusters Muncher. And uh, I, I noticed that on this one, we don't get that classic 1984 stamp on the front here like we did with the Ghostbusters and with Slimer. So that is pro I'm probably indicative of uh, him being from the new Afterlife movie. Going around the back here, we've got some pictures. Again, the same pictures that we can see in the front. We've got those pictures in the back here showing us some of his action fright features, ghost fright feature. And then we've got a short bio for Muncher right there. Ghostbusters Muncher, a blue ghost with a taste for anything metallic. Muncher loves making mischief. So there we go. There's a little short bio on Muncher and what he's going to be all about. And of course, that makes sense now that we're seeing all these car parts being spit out of him. So that is about it for the packaging. Let's get this guy opened up and check it out. And here we have Muncher out of the package and ready to fright some Ghostbusters. So Muncher here is approximately four inches tall and just kind of bringing him in close so you can see all the details going all the way around. He really does look very Slimer-like, but also very different and I really dig that about this. I really like the design of this new Ghost and I'm really looking forward to seeing him in action in the movie so we can see right there he's got a big mouth obviously he's in the eating just like slimer is and we've got that big ball of metal stuff just coming in right there he's got four hands and i think these are i'm gonna say these are feet it maybe he's got six arms or maybe he's got four arms and two feet i don't know i mean he's a ghost so who knows but uh yeah i do like this design right there and you can see that the arms in the middle here look like they're shoving stuff into his belly so maybe he just grabs things and kind of just uh dissolves them or or absorbs them into his body he doesn't have to use his mouth maybe i i, I don't know maybe he's just shoving him in maybe he's pulling him out who knows i, I kind of want to think he's pushing him in uh since he's actually spitting out of his mouth who knows and just kind of going all the way around so you can see all of the details on muncher right there like i mentioned he is approximately four inches tall so for comparison here he is next to his uh partner in the fright features line a slimer right there so you can see how these two stack up together of course when you pop slimer up he's going to be a little taller but in this mode right there they're approximately the same size compared to some of the smaller fright feature ghosts that come with some of the figures here they both are with the small slimer right there so you can see how these guys all compared together and then finally we'll bring in uh the two of the uh, ghostbusters right here so you can see what everybody looks like together so yeah very cool uh size comparisons right there so now let's get these guys all out of the way here and we'll take a quick look at muncher's fright features i really like muncher he's got uh three things that he can do now these guys they don't come with any instructions um 
they're relatively simple and easy to figure out. Uh, I still find it weird that they don't give you any indicator of how to make them work because even Kenner back in the day, even on the simplest of their gimmicks, they would still put a some sort of, a, uh, of an indication or an instruction or something for little kids to be able to see that and figure it out. Um, they don't do anything with these guys. And again, yes, they are very, very easy to figure out, but I just find that odd and noteworthy. So we got three things that we can do with Muncher here. Lots of play value right here. So we've got this ball right here. He has spitting action. So if you take his arms, you can take either arm. It doesn't matter which and just kind of pull back on it. These are spring loaded and you can see him right there spitting out that ball. So that's, that's his, his spitting action right there. That's very, very cool. And I think I just clicked one of the arms. Yeah, so it looks like, yeah, they'll, they'll do that clicky thing where they move around and whatnot. So there you go. That's pretty cool. The belly, I love this. So the belly is kind of see-through. And you remember on the bio, it talked about he loves eating metal stuff. So you can see right in there, he's got some stuff in there. We got two buttons back here. So when we push on these buttons, these are going to kind of push out what's in his belly. So you can see it a lot easier and you can see that his belly just kind of stretches out. So that's really good. It's very ghostly. Check that out. And uh, right here on this one side, he's got a stop sign with a big bite taken out of it. And then over here on this side, there's a whole fire hydrant right there <laughs> coming out. So that's pretty cool. You can push them both out. You can push one at a time, you know, and then you can kind of make them spit at the Ghostbusters. You know, these fright features, even with going back to the Kenner days, the fright features were all, were all very, very simple. So they've kind of kept it in line with that. It's simple, it's effective, it's a cool, fun little, kind of a, a, a little just gimmick toy that you can just kind of, or a fiddle toy that you can just fiddle with and, and, and it'll be fun and kids are absolutely gonna love these. And I think that about covers the Ghostbusters fright features ghost action. Muncher, what did you think of this figure? Let me know down in the comments. Give me some thumbs up. Subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified when I upload a new video. I've got a donate button up there if you want to hit on that. I certainly would appreciate it. Please share with your friends if you like what you see. And I'll talk to you next time.